Let's consider the following game. A player pays me a fee and then tries to guess my birthday. Just the month and day, not the year. So for example, they might guess November 5th, okay? If he or she guesses my birthday correctly, they're going to win $2,000. If he or she guesses incorrectly, they win nothing. So that's the game, very simple. The question is what fee should I charge in order for this to be considered a fair game? Note I was not born during a leap year. Okay, so what is a fair game? Most games we play either favor the house or they favor the player. Uh, a fair game is one that does neither. Okay, um, mathematically we can define a fair game as a game with an expected value of zero. So our job in this problem is to determine the appropriate amount the fee that should be that a player should pay me to participate in this game that is going to result in an expected value of zero. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's let F be the fee, because this is what we're trying to find is the fee. And we're going to start with the probability distribution for this game. Okay, and again, probability distribution just means we want to list all the possible outcomes for the game and their corresponding probabilities. Clearly for this game, the player is either going to win or lose. Okay, but um, what does a win and a loss look like, uh, you know, in dollars and cents? Okay, so if the player wins the game, what are they going to win? Well, they're going to win the $2,000 prize minus whatever fee they paid to play the game. Okay, we don't refund the fee. So in other words, if, if somebody plays $10 to play this game and they win, they're going to come out $1,990 ahead. Okay, they are going to get a check for $2,000 or $2,000 cash, but they don't get a refund of the $10 they played. Okay, so the amount of the win is actually going to be the, the $2,000 prize minus whatever fee was paid. Okay, now what does it look like if the player loses? Well, if they lose, they're just going to come out uh, at minus F dollars. Okay, whatever fee they paid, they're just out that much money. So these are the two um, outcomes of the game. The person is either going to win $2,000 minus the fee or they're just going to lose the fee. Okay. Now, what is the probability that somebody is actually going to win this game? Okay. Now, the note was, I'm not born during a leap year, which means there are 365 possible birthdays I might have. Okay. Now, in a leap year, it'd be a little bit different because technically there'd be 366 potential birthdays for me. Okay. But if we all know I wasn't born during a leap year, then that means there are 365 possible guesses the player could make, and only one of those is my actual birthday. So the chance of winning this game is 1 out of 365. So what are the chances the player is going to lose the game? Well, it would be 364 out of 365. Because, again, there's 365 different guesses they could make, and 364 of them are going to be wrong because I only have one birthday. So one guess would be correct, and 364 guesses would be incorrect. Okay, so this is the probability distribution for the game. Now we can compute the expected value for the game. And I'll remind you, the expected value is just the sum of the product of each outcome and its corresponding probability. So for this particular game, I'm going to have 2,000 minus the fee times 1 out of 365 plus uh, minus F times 364 out of 365. And again, our goal here is for the expected value of this game to come out to exactly zero. So I'm going to set this equal to zero. And our job here is to solve for F. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of algebra here, and I'm going to solve this equation for f, and that is going to give me the appropriate fee that I should charge if I want this to be a fair game. So let's solve the equation. Uh, first, I'm going to distribute the uh, 1 in 365 chance of winning. 
So I'd have 2,000 times 1 over 365, which is 2,000 over 365, minus F over 365. And then negative F times 364 would be negative 364F out of 365. And then if I combine all these fractions into one, I'm going to have 2,000 minus 365F, because negative F and negative 364F is negative 365F, over 365 equals zero. I'm going to multiply both sides by 365. And when I do that, the right-hand side is still going to be zero. So then all I need to do is subtract 2,000 from both sides like this. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 365. Okay. And if I do 2,000, or sorry, if I do negative 2,000 divided by negative 365, that's going to be five positive 5.47945 approximately. Okay. So what fee should I charge everyone to play this game? Well, it looks like the fee should be $5.48. Okay. So if I charge players $5.48 to play my game, then it's you know pretty close to being a fair game. It's not exactly going to be a fair game, but if we round to the nearest cent, because it'd be pretty hard for somebody to pay me exactly this amount, you know, in dollars and cents. Uh, but if I charge $5.48, that's about as close as I can get to this being a fair game, meaning it doesn't favor me, the house, and it doesn't favor the player. Uh, it's, a, it's a fair game.